Hi guys, it's uh, 1st of May, uh, around about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. The moon's just gone down, um, and we're on our way to make our first stand of the night. Yeah, oh, hope we get something. Um, okay, we've retrieved the first jackal of the night um, on the first sand. Um, female, very old jackal, um, almost no no teeth in front. Um, uh, the way that she came in, I could see it was a, a old cautious jackal. Um, she worked her way around slowly around uh, to to the downwind side of me um, to get a to to try and get my wind. Um, luckily for me, I spotted her before then and uh, took the shot before she could win me. So hey, let's go see if we can get something else. Yeah, it's uh, five o'clock. Uh, we've just finished our third stand for the night. Um, unfortunately, we've only we've only shot that uh, first female, um, but we have, however, encountered quite a rare sighting. Um, I've managed to call in a bush pig um, with the. Uh, uh, Stenbuck fawn distress uh, call. Um, certainly the first time that uh, I've seen or that something like that's happened uh, to me in the in the five years that I've hunted jackal. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have uh, permission to shoot anything else than jackal, so um, we couldn't we couldn't take it. But it was very exciting nonetheless. When planning your stand, um, it's very important to consider your wind and wind direction. Um, this is probably one of the most important elements for me to, to consider. Um, you need to make sure that your Fox Pro is upwind of you. This helps uh, to intercept any cautious jackal that want to wind uh, the caller. Um, jackal do this in order to identify uh, what is making the noise and if it is safe for them uh, to investigate. 